This point and click Etsy software gets me sales almost instantly. So I've been using this Etsy software and at first I didn't think there was anything that special about this. It just seemed kind of basic and like there wasn't actually too much to the tool. But once I really dug in and gave the tool a chance and actually put it to work on some of my listings, I realized this is actually quite literally the key to creating winning listings on Etsy or products that buyers actually want to purchase from me. So on Etsy, trends and keywords is the name of the game. So let's hop over to my laptop and I'm gonna show you how I actually use this software to ensure that I am using my time wisely and listing products that customers actually wanna buy and not wasting my time on listing duds. So let's get started. All right, so we are inside Sale Samurai and the first thing that you land on is all of these amazing tutorial videos that show you how to use every single section of this tool, very short and to the point videos. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I often have this on the dark screen. And as you can see, it's lighter today. So you can change it from dark mode to light. I personally prefer dark mode when I'm using this. However, I know a lot of you guys have mentioned in my videos that it's too dark. So for this video purpose, I'm going to keep it on light. Now, the first thing I'm going to do today is actually scroll down to the calendar and we're going to see what is coming up next so we know what to design for. You can see all of the up and coming holidays and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and move to two months from now and see what we can start designing for ahead of time. So you can just scroll through, look at these. Let's see, we have Cinco de Mayo, we have Easter, Mother's Day, we also have Memorial Day, Flag Day, Father's Day, Juneteenth, and lots of other unofficial holidays. My husband would love this Bourbon Day. So let's just go ahead and take Father's Day as an example. We're going to go back over to the basic search and type in some shirt theme ideas for dads. So I went ahead and typed in a hobby that a lot of dads have, which is fishing. So I've typed in dad fishing shirt. I hit search and then we can see the search volume on Etsy is 112 searches and the competition is 12,929, which is considered a low competition. You can also see the Google search volume of 480 right here you can scroll down and see some additional keyword suggestions. So something that might be better is actually dad fish shirt, search volume 100, competition of only 5,860 other listings on Etsy for this. You can also see all of the tag suggestions right here. So these would be good tags to use in your listing, and these would be good keywords to use in the title. You can also scroll down to the bottom here and see some of the top listings using these keywords and take a look at everything they have going on. You can click on more details over here. So let's just click on this one. So you can see how many views and likes this is getting and you can see all of the tags that this actual exact listing is using. And then of course you can see the search volume for every single one of these uh, tags that they have used. And you can compare the photos that they have in their listing. This is going to give you a lot of good relevant information on how you can actually set up your own similar listing. And if we go back and scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see the average price point here and also the average shipping time and the average shipping cost. So this is something that you can keep in mind when pricing your item. So doing this, you should be able to make your listing and do all of the SEO in 10 minutes or less using this tool. Now, if you don't find the best keywords here or something low competition, I highly recommend hopping over to the Chrome extension. So then the Chrome extension is gonna give you some extra keyword suggestions for dad fishing shirt. You can search by search volume or competition or both. And then you can come over here and find low competition but highly searched keywords. And then you can go in and make these listings in your very own store and be certain that there are definitely customers that are searching for this and that you're not gonna be competing with a ton of other sellers. 
So here's a cool one, tuna fishing shirt. So that's getting more specific and more niched down, which I highly recommend. So instead of just general fishing, you could do tuna fishing. And so that's going to be more targeted. So as you can see, it gets 115 searches a month, but way less competition because people on Etsy that are selling often are thinking more general, like general fishing, general nurse, general teacher. But when you go into these micro niches, you are going to be able to scoop up way more sales because there is going to be way less competition. There's another one, bow fishing shirt. So you can see that that is way more niched down. And we'll just do one more here, carp fishing shirt, 208 searches per month and only 1,463 competition. These are some really, really good keywords that I would be jumping on. But of course, always do your own research because things do change on Etsy when it comes to search volume. And when you do your own research, then, you know, a lot of other people won't be watching this on YouTube and jumping into it. Um, so when you find your own, you're going to be much better off. And of course, make sure that you are always checking trademarks. I use trademarkia.com. I just type in the phrase. Make sure that it's not trademarked for shirts or whatever item that you're putting it on. And of course, copyright. You cannot copy someone else's design. You can make your own unique design, but you don't ever want to copy. So I hope you put this tool to good use in your business and you start using the best keywords, the best trends, what people are searching for on Etsy currently, and the best tags to make sure that your customers are looking for what you're listing and that there's not out too many other listings on Etsy that your listing is just going to get buried. So this is how I ensure that I can list something and start getting sales within a day or two. So I hope you're as excited as I am about using tools that make my job easier and being able to ensure that I'm listing products that customers actually want to buy. So down below in the description box, I'm going to link for you all of the resources that you need to succeed, including that free trial of Sales Samurai so you can test it out for yourself. I'm also going to link for you my seven day free Etsy bootcamp. So if you are just getting started on Etsy or if you've been started for a while, you want a plan for success success. This bootcamp is going to take you over the next seven days to setting up your shop in the right way. And make sure that you subscribe as well as check out my full Etsy playlist that I'm going to link for you on the screen here so you can pick up some more tips and tricks for selling on Etsy. So make it an amazing day and I will see you back in the next video.